what do you think your faith is for? The faith we are given actually is part of that gift, that free gift package as you have the faith of the Son of God. I've been crucified with Christ, the Apostle Paul says. It is no longer I who lives, but the Christ life who lives in me. And the life I live now, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me so much, he gave his life for me. You need a Christ kind of faith to possess a Christ kind of inheritance. You need a Christ kind of faith to have a Christ kind of life. You're God's footprint on the earth, my friend. As he is, so are we in the world. Can you believe it today? Can you engage the faith of Christ in you to believe it just for a minute? How many things that are trying to get on top of you now are starting to shrink in their size because you're starting to see them through Christ's eyes? Stay there. You need the faith of Christ to believe he's actually taken away the sin of the whole world. Come again. He's taken away the sin of the whole world. John 1, 29, the next day John saw Jesus coming towards him, the Savior, and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. All sin, your sin, my sin, their sin. At Calvary, he took away, remitted, ended, revoked, disempowered, put away the sin of the world. Yeah, that's why you don't have to be sin conscious anymore. Be Christ conscious. Sin represents something entirely new under a new covenant. Do you realize that? Well, because if all the sin of the world has been taken away and then the Bible is still talking about this is sin, what's that sin? Let's have a look. Simply this, not trusting Jesus has taken away the sin of the world. (laughs) Yeah. That's really big, Richie. Well, We're talking about the Son of God. Sin is where Jesus isn't. Look at this, Romans 14, 23. But he who doubts is condemned if he eats because he does not eat from faith. For whatever is not from faith is sin, right? When you believe into Jesus and everything he's accomplished, you're in a sinless environment called the environment of the grace of God. Look at this, John 6, 56. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. One body, one blood. This is a spiritual truth. Meaning, coming back to Romans, if he doubts, he's condemned if he eats because he does not eat from faith into the Son of God. Meaning there's only one kind of other partaking. What's that? Self, flesh. And flesh by default is condemned because there's no life in it. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Listen, if you accept that Jesus Christ, the sinless one, was made sin, you must equally accept that at the point you believed into him, you have been made righteous. I know what you're thinking, I don't feel righteous, believe. I didn't do righteous, believe. Sometimes I have unrighteous thoughts, believe. Now the just. Now the just. When the just, now. When, now. Now the just shall live by faith. In what? Into Jesus and what he's finished. He is just and the justifier of those who are made just in the just one. Now look at this. But if anyone draws back, how do you draw back from that? When you come out of faith into what he's done and put faith into what you can do. It's called drawing back. When you put faith in what Jesus has finished and draw back in what the church is trying to do. When you put faith in Jesus' forgiveness and when you get on your knees and start praying for forgiveness, no, you're forgiven. Yeah, we're sorry but you were forgiven at the cross. If your forgiveness is contingent on your ability to ask for it, you, it is no longer grace. It is works. You with me? Changes everything. I know, I'm coming up against some teaching that says you've got to do A to get B. No, it's done. You're C. You're already C. In Christ. It's done. So, drawing back then is any act 
that has you moving your position of righteousness from what Jesus has finished to what you're trying to start. So you walk and flow in the finished work of the justifier. And so it goes for everything else that God has for us. Everything of God has been made yours at the point you believed into his son. Confession and repentance, therefore, biblically defined is simply changing your mind to believe what God says. There is therefore now, here's this now word, emphasis now. No condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. When are you in Jesus? Now. Who do not walk according to the flesh, which brings you under the law, which under a new covenant is the curse, but according to the Spirit. What does the Spirit do? It, by faith, believes in to spirit life in Christ. Condemnation is a killer. Condemnation is the robber of new creation potential. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus, none. But condemnation is the hallmark of the religious system. Fail to turn up to church, condemned. Fail to tithe, condemned. Fail to give, condemned. Fail to pray, condemned. Fail to fast corporately, condemned. Ask questions, condemned. Leave the church condemned and shamed. That's why Paul said, I am not ashamed. Now, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation, which is why all the lights come off. Wow. Trust the inward voice of the spirit man. Listen to him. A religiously driven person can never be spiritually led. The number one reason why people don't want to become Christians, which is a real crash. It's just such a, an appropriate way to say you're a, to be a son of God. It's because they think I can't lift, live up to the mark. I can't do it, Richie. All these demands you fellas have, your, your Christian, you know, buzz. That I've got to do this and I've got to do that. I've got to be here and I've got to be there. I've got to, you know, he's, I can't do it. I'll fail it. I don't want to fail it. I failed it before. I'd rather just be real with what I am. Wow, my friend, now you're ready. Now you're ready because you've admitted you can't. And that's exactly where he wants you to be. The principle of a rescue. The most dangerous time to save a drowning swimmer is when he's still kicking and fighting. You try and save them in that, you're both going to go down. You wait. You watch them struggle. You watch them kick. You watch them scream. You watch them fight. And then you just wait till the bubbles start going. Blip, 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 blip. <laughs> Thank you. Come in. Wrap your arm around his exhausted little self. And now all he can do is rest in the motion of your saving. 